Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some financiers. These are uh, a little French cake uh, usually made in the shape of a gold bar or, or a gold ingot from the financial district of uh, Paris I think it was. Uh, many years ago the financiers used to have them with their coffee. Now I have made them before and I've made them in various flavours but I'm going back to the, the very first time I made them, which was before I was doing videos. And it's just a basic, simple almond cake um, in that shape. But I'm also going to do some uh, in a muffin tin, not, not a full, you know, I'm not going to fill the muffin tin up with the uh, financier batter because these are small cakes. But I'll do some in a muffin tin to show you that you can do them in that as well, because I'll show you um, I have two of these little six um, hole uh, financier trays which I can make mine in but uh, not many people will have those and you can do them in other things but a, a muffin tin will work quite well you just need to put about the same amount that you would put into one of these trays into the muffin cups it's not a difficult recipe. It only uses uh, egg whites, ground almonds, flour, icing sugar, butter, and some golden syrup. Although you could use corn syrup if you don't have golden syrup. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have 270 grams, which is two and three quarter cups minus one teaspoon of ground almonds. I have 120 grams, two thirds of a cup, plus two tablespoons of plain flour. And that's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 250 grams, about two quarters of a cup of icing sugar. I have 300 milliliters, which is a cup and a quarter of egg whites. And the reason for this recipe today is that I have a lot of egg whites left over from uh, making the Boston cream pie and I'm using those up. Um, I have 340 grams which is three sticks or a cup and a half of unsalted butter and then I have 100 grams five tablespoons of golden syrup and that's all the ingredients we need. Now we do have to melt this butter and uh, make it uh, into a brown butter basically and we'll do that but before I do that I'll mix my dry ingredients together. And for ease I'm going to put the dry ingredients into a slightly larger bowl and stir them together and then I'm going to sift them to get them fairly evenly distributed. But because there's quite a large volume, I'll be sifting them a bit at a time. So that's good enough for what I'm going to do. So I'll simply dip down and spoon some of the mixture into my sieve and sift that and my icing sugar seems to have clumped quite a lot so I'll be able to break those clumps up. So I have sifted my flour and my icing sugar with the ground almonds and I'm going to simply put my egg whites in and my golden syrup and I'm going to mix those together into a batter.
and that's good enough like that. So then I need to uh, melt my butter and brown it and that's going to go into this batter then. And so I'm going to put the heat on with my butter in a, a pan and I'm going to heat that quite gently until it melts and then I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit um, until the milk solids start to brown. The butter will uh, colour and the milk solids will start to uh, brown and I can strain those off before I put my uh, butter into the almond batter. So my butter is almost melted now, there's still a couple of little pieces in there, but um, as it heats up the milk solids will separate and will sink to the bottom. Um, so I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit and you can uh, see some bubbles are beginning to appear on the surface. And that's actually the milk solids. So that butter is now very hot and it's uh, beginning to, to boil and the, the milk solids are floating to the top but they're also cooking underneath. And as you can see most of those milk solids have dissipated now into the butter and we just watch for the butter to turn a nice golden brown and I think that's good enough for mine. I can see some little brown specks appearing around the side of the pan and I suspect there's some brown pieces in the butter as well. Yes, I can feel them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain that. Uh, now you you can put the brown little brown pieces into the um, financiers if you wish, but I'm going to strain mine uh, to remove as many of the pieces as I can, particularly any larger pieces. So I've strained off my butter and I'll just show you uh, the pan so that you can see um, the little brown pieces, which is the milk solids that have cooked out. Sometimes you can get them darker than that, almost burnt, but I don't want mine that dark. So my butter is still very hot, but I'm going to put it into my almond and flour batter, and I'm going to mix it through. And I can use a a whisk to whisk it, but I want to get that butter fully incorporated into the mixture. And as the mixture loosens up, the butter will get incorporated easier. And that's got the butter mixed in, and I did whisk it for a, a little while, but I found the spatula that little bit easier to work it. And so I'm going to cover that with plastic wrap you could use it immediately and um, put it into your pans and bake it but I'm going to chill mine and then I'm going to pipe it into my um, moulds. So I'll cover it with plastic wrap and put it into the fridge for two hours and I'll come back in two hours um, and have it in a piping bag and we'll put it into our moulds and at that time I'll have my oven preheating uh, to 220 degrees Celsius, 200 Celsius with a fan, 450 Fahrenheit, and my moulds will be greased, well they are greased, and they will be ready to take the batter. So I've put my um, batter into a piping bag and I've got my oven preheating, and uh, so I've piped some into uh, my first mould, about each one is about two thirds full, which is about 30 grams. And I'm just going to pipe some into the other moulds. Well, 
like that. And then I'm going to take my muffin tin which I've also greased and I'm simply going to pipe about the same amount into the muffin tin. And if they're a bit different in size, it doesn't matter. So there's the 12 in the muffin tin and 12 in my moulds. And I'm going to put those into my preheated oven. And I'm going to bake them for 10 minutes. And uh, after 10 minutes, I take them out of the oven and transfer them to a wire rack. I'll bake off the rest. And then when they've all cooled down, I'll come back and we'll have a taste. I baked my financiers for uh, 10 minutes and they were going uh, slightly brown around the edge, which uh, they should do. So I took them out of the oven. Uh, the ones in the muffin tin browned more on the edge, around the edge than the ones in the silicon uh, tray, but that's not surprising. Uh, I put them onto a wire rack and I've allowed them to cool down. So I'll show you what they look like. And I actually got uh, 30 all together. And I've worked out uh, when I said about 30 grams, it's actually more like 40 grams for each one. Um, but they've baked up quite nicely. So they're now crisp around the edge. But as they are stored, they will soften the the uh, golden syrup inside them will actually act as a softener and they will soften around the edge. So I'll break one open so you can see inside. It's nice and moist inside as you can see, but fully baked. So I'll have a taste of this one. Mm. That's very, very good indeed. And I don't drink coffee, but the financiers in Paris used to eat these with their coffee. I think they even used to dunk them in their coffee. So you might like to try that. Um, and as I said, you don't need the special mold. You can use a muffin tin. You could use a bun tray if you have one of those. Um, but just don't fill the muffin tin above about one third. Uh, that's as much as you will need for them. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.